He said, so, if you get all your chores done, I'll give you a dollar, and you can go to the circus. This boy had never seen a dollar. He'd never held a dollar. His dad reached in his pocket, pulled out that dollar bill, and the son took off. Well, as was common that day, the circus had a parade. The cages with their lions and tigers, the different trapeze people. And he was so excited. And the very end, with the clowns with their baggy clothes and their painted faces and their bright clothing, they brought up the end of the parade. And when the young boy saw those clowns, he reached into his pocket, pulled out a dollar, and he gave it to the clown. He thought that was the circus. He didn't realize that was a parade. So I leave you with a question. Are you experiencing all that God has for you? Because the Christian life is a, it's an amazing adventure. But there's a danger of being content with what this world has to offer. Do you want the abundant life that Jesus offers? Do you want to live your life to the fullest? Then aim higher and don't settle for the clouds. So I leave you that question, why are you a Seventh-day Adventist? And I encourage you to be passionately in love with Jesus. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, clowns are pretty neat, but don't help us settle for that. Don't let us settle for parades. And Lord, don't let us settle for fighting. But let us stay focused on our mission of uplifting Jesus to all the world as we herald these three angels' messages. I pray in Jesus' name.
promise from the Apostle Paul, 2 Timothy 1.12. I am not ashamed, because I know the one in whom my faith is set. And I am convinced that he is able to protect what has been entrusted until me, until, the day, until that day. Amen. Father in heaven, thank you so much that you have called this church into existence. Thank you for the mission you have given us. And Lord, forgive us for all the in-house fighting we have. <coughs> Help us to focus on Jesus. I pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen.